and we're gonna do our kettlebell chest press. Actually, you know what, but first, why don't I show you how to get the kettlebell into the right position as easy as possible, okay? So, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the kettlebell right beside you. Um, dealer's choice, what kind of weight you have and weight you wanna use at home. We're gonna switch halfway, and I would very much recommend not switching your kettlebell over your face. <laughs> Always switch it over your belly or bring it down across your chest, okay? You know, you never know. So, first things first, the kettlebell is going to be pointing away from you, and you're going to put your fingers so that they're pointing out, okay? Kettlebell is going to be in the palm of the hand. Now, what I'm going to do from this position, I'm going to lay back and push my elbow into the floor. You can see now the kettlebell is already lifted off the floor. Now, if you struggle at all from this position, use your other hand to help push the kettlebell to the top. If you can, simply just press the kettlebell. Okay, so this is our first position. The wrist weights actually act as a really nice cushion because there would be a slightly different technique if we weren't wearing our wrist weights. If you aren't wearing them, you're gonna want a more of an angle in your kettlebell, okay? So from here, we're gonna do a single arm kettlebell chest press with a glute bridge. Now, really important that you're not arching the back into your glute bridge. That's not the same, right? I just wanna use my glutes to push my hips to the ceiling. I want a nice brace, ribs in. I wanna breathe into that belly, and once I've set this position, I forget it. So I shouldn't see a whole bunch of movement while we're chest pressing. The only thing that's gonna be moving is that kettlebell through that chest press, okay? So legs and core locked in, that's the important part. Notice if you're not using your bum for a glute bridge, if you're just arching, what's the point? All right, so should we set the clock and get ready to go? Okay. It's funny, kettlebell, handling kettlebells is actually a specific technique, so it's nice to be able to pause for a second and go through how to do that. All right, team. Gonna start the clock, we'll have a three second lead in. We're gonna work 45 seconds. This one we're gonna switch halfway, okay? We are gonna do two rounds of this because we're gonna go, um, one of them we're gonna split so you have a row time of 45 seconds on both arms. So if you really love this and by the end of second round, please repeat this workout, okay? Get four rounds in if you like. All right. Three, two. Coming down, thread the hand, kettlebells up, hips are up, ribs in, and I'm gonna drop that elbow and press it up. Now, notice that my elbow is kind of falling to 45 degrees, so it's not way out to the side here. I kind of want it right in the middle. All right, make sure you can see your clock or follow along with me, because we're gonna do one more press, and then I'm gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna bring my kettlebell to my belly, turn it, pop my knuckles in, hips back up, and I go through the press. The few times you do this, you're gonna get better at it, so don't worry if you're struggling and you're coming down it's all good. All right, keep going. They're going to finish on this side straight to the bell. Hips are stable, not moving too much, yeah? Beautiful. And then, elbow to the floor, release. Next one we're going to do is our straight leg raise, okay? So, tuck the tailbone, ribs in. Legs are going to come straight up in the air. Two, one. And then, only go down as far as you can control the pelvis, okay? So if you come down and it starts to look like that, just back off a little bit or simply bend the knees. That's about as far as I can bring it with these ankle weights. So if you do have them on, remember, it's gonna add weight to your lower body, which already, if you're like me, I've got long legs compared to my torso, so it's quite a challenge as a lever already, right? So be very mindful of that spinal position, Keeping that pelvis tucked under. Good, we're gonna be able to get one more. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna isolate just doing the right arm for a full 45 seconds for our row. Go back to abs, we're gonna finish on the left side, all right? So, bring your kettlebell back. Lunge position. You're welcome to put the hand on the side if you want. Every row. We're gonna go from the floor. Notice that I'm not coming up with it, right? I want us to keep that body position stable, lock my shoulder in, pull my shoulder blade back. Nice fast row to the hip. as many as you can get me. Nice team. One more. Beautiful. Shake it out, crew. All right.
legs to go sit up. Kettlebell can stay on standby. Keep it on deck. Don't get rid of it. All right, opposite knee to elbow. Everyone knows this one, but my challenge for you is to go slow. So really keep the pelvis tucked, ribs in. I'm turning my opposite shoulder blade off the floor. I'm extending the opposite leg all the way. I'm not just doing this, okay? I want you to create nice legs there and really focus on your brace. So nice big breath into the belly. Beauty, we got 15 seconds left. Ten seconds. Remember, slow, controlled, and technical. Last one. Beautiful. And you can pretty much just stay here. <laughs> Unless you really need water, get it. Otherwise, we're gonna go back into that chest press, okay? Start of round two. So thread the fingers. I can even use my other hand to pull that over. Kettlebell comes straight up, bum on taking that just below sort of the edge of your, your sports bra, ladies. Um, guys, you're kind of like right on beside the ribs here, okay? So not up crowding around the neck. And I'm engaging and flexing my pec as I drive that kettlebell up to the ceiling. Knuckles up. Good, nice. Let's bring it over to the other side. I just bring it on top of my body. It doesn't bother me, all right? And then bring it in. We were a little late on the switch, my bad. So we're gonna go right through the belt, okay? Good, do three more. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay, straight leg raise. Again, slow and controlled. Feel free to bend the knees if you need to. And I need to bring my head up and my shoulders a little bit to help pull my ribs down into the floor. Give me a little bit more counterweight. Oh, with these ankle weights on, oh my god. Okay, so fun fact about me, I absolutely hate, hate doing abs and core work. And also, like, glute, Band isolated glute stuff, I hate it. It just, if you wanna see me scream and cry, that is what we're doing. Excellent, okay, we're going left side on our row. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. I'm always the one that people are never gonna think struggles with that, and I'm like, I hate this, I'm in pain. <sighs> Good, full 45 seconds here. Good, 10 seconds left. How many can you give me? Don't stop. Nice job, body rockers. Keep going. Three, two, last one. Let's go. Beautiful. Bicycle sit up, baby. All right, and then got a fun little bonus around here. Whoo! Okay. I'm leaking already. Yeah, I don't. I just absolutely hate doing that. I find it like so. Just it tests me. It tests my metal. Why don't you like it? I just think it's like. Normally, like localized kind of muscle fatigue type burny things, I don't do in my training. I just find it so difficult. <sighs> yeah, it's so difficult. So <sighs> I'm always the one on the like Pilates reformer that's like dying. <sighs> Good, keep it up, team. We got five seconds. Everyone, right through the bell. Two, last one, 
Excellent. Okay. Up onto the feet. We're going to finish with bags and tries. So we're going to take the kettlebell hammer grip. Again, if you don't have a, a kettlebell, use a dumbbell. It's totally cool. Or you can use your wrist weights, okay? So from here, kettlebell curl. We're going to go straight into overhead tricep extension. I'm going to show you how to flip the grip on your kettlebell. Good. Make sure you're pulling the shoulders. I know the kettlebell's in front of us, but watch out. Just kind of try and keep those shoulders back as much as you can. And of course, bums on, ribs pulling in. That's it. Woo! With those wrist weights, it's that little bit extra. Nice. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is bring the kettlebell up over my head and I'm just gonna slide it into my palms so my thumbs are pointing behind me. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it into that tricep extension. If a dumbbell, just Three, hold it two. around the base of the dumbbell. So we're right here, ribs in, okay, bum on, kettlebell dropping behind the head, bending and extending the elbows. Nice, you should feel that right away. Elbows don't need to be like too tight to the ears. They can be sort of in the middle. Good, and if this is uncomfortable for you at all, there's also a kickback option. You can just go into a tricep kickback. Good, we got one more round here, so stay with me. This is spicy. Five seconds, three, Two, one more, get it in. Beautiful, bring it in front, shake it out. We're going one more set, fives and tries to finish off the arms. Dang, Whew. we're chipping. Okay, five seconds, you ready? Hammer grip. Good, let's go, elbows in, max reps. Good. And I just try to like, especially my muscles are just burning. I'm just like, woosa. You know, close your eyes, take a few breaths, and just try to keep moving, you know. And if you do need to stop, take two breaths, get back into it, right? Like, the fact is that we're here, and we're pushing towards our goal. And for some of us that have been around this journey, we're heading towards that Christmas Day goal, right? So we're going hard until then trying to visit your mat, you know, every day, even if it's for 12 minutes, right? Even if it's for 12. And having a day off or needing a day off, is, there's nothing wrong with that too. Maybe you give yourself the recovery time, you can hit two workouts the next day. It's consistency that is the key. Not coming into something, you know, blazing intention and then just crush your body and then not be able to keep up with it. Right, we wanna do little and often is my motto. Little and often. And that will create longevity and sustainability in your program. Whew. I know it's burning team, keep coming. Keep coming with those reps. Whew. 10 seconds here. Good, we got five seconds, I need two more. One more, and time. Yeah, thanks mate. All right, so I don't know about you, but my arms are roasted and toasted, and I hope you're feeling it too. Abs got a little work in as well. Body Rockers, it was a pleasure. Again, if you want a little bit more, throw it on repeat, run it back. Coach Jay, we'll see you next time.